YouTube, what is going on? Savage here. Today, we're going to be diving into a Warzone 2 tips and tricks video, specifically in-depth breakdown of my gameplay, going over different gunfight tactics and how you guys can win your gunfights more efficiently, going over strategy, and of course, one of the most important things and aspects of the game, teamwork, callouts, and communication. If you guys do enjoy this video, drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel today. Let's go ahead and dive into the gameplay. Teamwork, observation, reaction time, right builds and for the love of god please be building your guns right if you have a team member that you really don't want to drop but you know you should send on this video make sure they learn from it that way they can be a better team player for themselves and for you let's go ahead and dive into it all right so right here we're gonna be going ahead and diving on zaya no surprise there it's, it's not my favorite spot particularly i think all shareem is but it's a good hot drop it's a good road it's great for rotations and you can see I'm still kind of looking at the sky, trying to see where everyone went. I did notice that there was a team at the dome over from us on the south hand side. And again, just looting with some quickness. I've got a decent gun, so if we get in a fight, I can go ahead and commit to it. I don't have to worry about dying with a pistol. And to be fair, since I am decent with the pistol, I'd probably charge in there anyway. Spot of the enemy at the top. Now look at this. We have we have the pings right now, so now I know exactly where they at where they are. We have one guy on my right hand side on ground level, one guy above us on the right hand side, and one guy above us on the left hand side. Right there, just simple. I started to slow walk, and the moment my teammate came flying in like Tarzan, I decided, hey, he probably fucking knows we're here now. So I started sprinting. And the only reason I feel like I have to point that out is because we all know that there's randoms that we spectate that will sit there and crouch walk with their team doing donuts around them. Please don't be that teammate. All right, so this right here is a perfect decision or example of target prioritization. So many people, so many people will just shoot the first damn thing that they see instead of analyzing everything. So I hear footsteps. I know he's right here. Not a doubt in my mind. But I also hear gunshots coming off from this hand side too. So I don't see the enemy at all. The big ass P90 just blocks everything. Apparently it's the size of a rocket launcher. But I do see this guy. I notice homies on the, on the zip line. He's probably not all with it. I'm not worried about him right now. He can't kill me right this second. The guy shooting this direction definitely can. Side to side, simple decision. I know in hindsight, it's like, wow, Savage, duh. But again, I'm giving you guys tips that I truly, truly see daily from people I kill, from people we spectate, from viewers we spectate, that y'all should not be doing. These, these are mistakes that y'all definitely should not be doing. And again, it might seem basic to a lot of you guys watching. And of course, I believe it is as well. But there are some players out there who haven't hit that level yet. So the guy originally down still over here. We haven't gotten the kill on him yet. So I would imagine he's got a teammate. Now I want you to pay attention to this right here. This comes down to straight panic. Your, your dude was holding the angle and I would literally was sitting here. He was going for the rest. So let's talk about angles real quick. Let me remove my, my camera. Sorry guys. Now let's, let's think about this for a second. If you're going to res a teammate, are you going to either a do it in the middle of the hallway b do it behind i don't know a corner where there's cover or c throw it at yourself i think there's only one answer to that one it's going to be b for sure so he your boy right there that's crouching with the ghillie suit on he had two options either a let his teammate crawl further to cover just you know five more feet to the right let him crawl to cover and then get the res off or b hold the angle the dude sitting out in the open if he was holding this angle he could have probably killed me because I did have my back to him moments ago. But unfortunately, another decision, a straight panic, and he just throws his nade at us instead of even trying to shoot us. Granted, he probably would have died, no doubt about it. But again, you have multiple options in that situation. I think he should have got the res off way earlier. I downed that guy probably 30 seconds prior to entering this fight because I was worried about the other guy and getting the execute on him. So the, he should have had the res up already. Now I'm trying to pick up his gun. It just won't let me. There we go. Thank you. Now I can finally see it. And I'm like, you know what? I want that LMG too, but I'm not going to sit here and try to fight the dumbass looting system in this game. So we decided to bail off. Turn this beautiful camera back on. 
Now, again, I was talking about how awesome this spot is with the rotations, and my god, it is. You have all of the map at your disposal only, nor not only with the zip line. You can just jump off the hill and go wherever you want, but now that there's also a zip, the world is your oyster. So make sure you whatever you fucking do to oysters. So we can really rotate anywhere. And what we're just gonna do is kind of uh, simple analyzing. I have no pings on the map. I have no idea where anyone's at. No gunshots, no noises, no vehicles. There's zero intel at all. So I just kind of want to scan around, make sure no one's pushed Zaya, make sure no one snuck in from the behind. Cause you know that this is always gonna be a, there's gonna be some rats sitting up here and chewing on fucking cables. But unfortunately, there aren't. I think the rats eat the poison. And I'm going to go right back down to the zip line. And um, I'll catch you in a second. All right, so we kind of walked around for a little bit trying to find people. We ended up back here. And here we are going to zip again. Again, pings are crucial. Now, I do have a copy of this gameplay with commentary um, with my teammates' comms. But I left it out because I want you to see how important not only verbal comms are, but also, that's right, pings. If you can't vocally communicate for whatever reason, whether you're being bullied or whatever the fuck, please, for the love of everything that is holy, please ping the enemy. I play with randoms pretty often now just for some content on stream, and I gotta tell you, very few randoms ever ping. You might as well just play duos, or if duos is an end, just don't play, because if you're not gonna use teamwork, you're just gonna commit yourself to death. You're just loading in to die. But anyway, went on a tangent there. So we have an enemy ping, so most people in this situation are gonna get locked in they're gonna get tunnel vision but like i say relax your eyes and look around there's more to the story there's never gonna be one enemy in quads so you want to look through the teammates now i do spot this little this little cutie run into a window now we'll let this fight play out real quick Boom, and just like that, Timmy's here, baby, I got you. So let's rewind to that. And again, the point all these things out because of what we see from random. So I land on this dude. One, he should have turned around and just shot me out the sky. You, you hear the parachute, you know it's coming. Even if your audio is bad, you hear parachutes most of the time. So I would imagine that too. He broke the window and went to the right-hand side. Where are you going to run to? Out, back outside? You instantly should have broke to the left and created more separation between yourself and me. So I start shooting him. So at this point here, he's cracked. He's one tap. There's no reason your boy should be holding this angle, especially right here. You're better off either behind the wall or again, just running the hell away. Sometimes you're down bad and someone's on your heels. You gotta bail. You just have to, but he doesn't. Now I start to reload instantly. Notice there's no delay. I see it so much when people are looting. They sit there and they're just like, what is this? What is this? They got three rounds in their magazine. They're freaking hurt. They're bleeding out their fucking urethra. And shit's just going crazy. And they're just like, where's my loot at? I don't know. Don't do that. You instantly pop the reload. And you instantly played up. Now, why am I running over here? Well, most people in this spot too will also sit there and hide like a recluse just plating up. But no, the moment I heard gunfire, I went to my team you saw me just I'm, i started wiggling it that's that's sign savage ready to go when i wiggle i'm ready so i start plating as i'm pushing the enemy like you should now why am i running towards the enemy because time is of the essence my teammates in a fight we don't know the whole story clearly there's more people here than we thought originally we only saw two we've killed two clearly there's more people here so what's going on So of course, as I'm playing, I B hop to the left hand side, ADS, and I'm there to help my teammate. If I would have stayed put for one second to pop that plate before I ran, that you know this dude's gonna execute my teammate. Katie is everything, it's my livelihood, Savage. All the new viewers here, just stay tuned. I promise you guys, you will not be let down. You'll see some wild shit. But we get the res off, and again, just simple teamwork, simple basic things that we just don't see most of the player base do. Now she's in the bathroom taking a shit, so I took her money so I can go over here to do what? Not be able to jump a wall that is clearly tall enough. Yeah, I'm pissed. Ooh, Activision's perfect. Ooh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is going to be the best game of the year. And ooh, Activision doesn't steal your money. Why am I clicking sniper rifle? The reason why I'm buying 
is because I went to the loadout to grab my sniper class and it gave me this. So I'm like, you know what, man? Finn, let me have your money. I got a snipe. I'm feeling it. I want it. I need it. Let's get it. So she gives me her money. I come over here and I go to buy a sniper. What? Make it make sense. So again, taking zip, using the height to my advantage to rotate. It's great. It's so great. I see these little rats running around. What do I want to do? I want to pounce like I'm a kitty cat. I noticed there's one already in the water because he was way ahead. Then we got the parachute. Then we got the guy on the ground. So who do I target first? The guy closest, the guy that has a gun that can shoot at me. Get that knock. I don't see the enemy running to my left-hand side. I see him now. He saw him again. I'm honestly surprised I'm not getting killed. And there he is. A lot in this fight I want to go over. Mistake wise on my part and reason why I did something. So right now I see these guys and I decide to challenge. Why? Well, because I, I have the roof. Two, they're off to the races, so they're they're gonna be great fishing bait here in a second. And again, just maintaining a high ground. Don't land on the ground with them. Just land on the high ground. Target prioritization. Pick the harder target. Don't pick the guy's parachuting. That's the easy kill. Pick the guy that can kill you or your teammates. All right here is stupid too. You don't ever want to challenge. The guy had cover and concealment. I mean, he had a little rock he could play. I had nothing. I literally had nothing. So I should have just instantly smoked and ran back. Thankfully, he didn't kill me and I had teammates there to help. But big mistake. Just letting him know I'm here. I wasn't missing. So doing what anyone in the rightful mind would do, I'm going to go ahead and solo the unknown. This is one of those uh, do as I say, not as I do things. So I push up here. I pop my reload. And look, when I push buildings, a lot of people are like surprised that I wait till I get to a building to reload. Well, one, I don't want my movement speed to slow down. I want to sit there, pop a reload in the middle of the street. This dude peek over and clap me in the, in the face. It's the last thing I want to do. But two, when I get to a building, not when I'm reloading, sound kind of goes quiet because your footsteps aren't marching around like a, like a herd of elephants. So I'm sound horn. I'm trying to listen for the enemy. I hear the little dude above me. So of course, we're gonna go up there and challenge this dude. And on top of that, normally I would have slew walked this, but because he was getting shot at actively, explosions everywhere and things like that, I decided to come up here and just challenge no matter what. Whipping out the gun in case of the long range fight, checking that little area behind me. And then you see him B hop right over that. Before I get any savage, how'd you know where he was? Uh, we saw him. Look, look at there he is just, just jumping right over that so that's how we saw him that's how we got the ping off all right so i'm feeling really confident we have a lot of separation from the squad and we did just kill a team here so i'm assuming we're good i land i hear footsteps Gas is inbound. Marking new safe i decide to slow it down Your squad Notice how my laser's not going through the door. I don't want the enemies to see my laser beaming. I want to aim it at the wall. And if they end up, uh, pay attention to that. If they end up peeking, then I can snap to them. All right, and again, Gulag, I usually have the exact same thing. I want to always have my crosshairs and reticles around it. I'm going to hit the first box, even if I'm on the other side, same situation. But I want you to look at what he's doing. He's crouch walking to the side. There's really nothing to this. Um, I keep telling y'all stop crash walking and people in comments keep telling me no because they don't want to be heard. So guys, don't do it. Doesn't make any damn sense. Who are you sneaking up on? Jesus? No. All right, so right now I'm asking my teammates, is my shit good? They say, hell no, we left that fight. We didn't want to fight that guy with a shotgun. I said, I understand. Dude's a bitch. Now, notice how I didn't get my loading. Why did I not get my loading? Well, it's in a terrible spot. There's always gonna be people there and I don't wanna land there in quads, grab my loot and try to hit the zip because there's a good chance that none of that's gonna play out how I want to. There's too many variables that go astray and I'm way too far from my team. All right, so right here, I'm deciding to land on my teammates. I noticed there's a fight going on and I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna take their shit. It is what it is, it's fine. This is the biggest mistake of the game. Picking up enemies' weapons, guys. I know not everybody watched YouTube videos, but holy shit, dudes. Y'all need to stop building these wild ass guns that are complete dog shit. If I see another TikTok build, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Y'all need to slow down. These weapons here are crazy, but 
I ping the enemy. Again, you gotta ping enemies. And I dive on my teammate. Now, this dummy decides while I'm getting shot at, I'm gonna execute this dude for no reason at all. Why? Because he wants his kill. His KD means everything to him. His whole identity is in his, in his KDs. No, stop it, bro. Play your life. You never know what you can do. Now, right here, I have no idea what's coming towards me. We hear enemies. I hear their footsteps. My teammates got the corner, so I need to jump out. I can't slow peek the corner. I've got to jump out because one, they're both going to be tunnel envisioned on Ferkel. And two, again, if I put some separation, it's going to throw them off. But who do I shoot at? That's exactly what I do. Again, notice the separation. I noticed the third guy, I bailed back. I didn't look at my ammo count mid fight, but we did down two enemies. So I assumed that I had no ammo in in my assault rifle i was wrong i do but that's why i mean i'm sorry smg in the in the tempest and uh that's why i bailed away i wasn't sure what my ammo count was i didn't want to risk pulling the trigger and have nothing come out and get my ass killed so i dove back reloaded and la -di da now i hear footsteps in the building to my left and there it is and again just just simple uh, teamwork we all collapsed. We were separated, but the moment a fight took place, all of a sudden, there we are together. Now, you're going to see me sitting here looking at this shit like, bro, what am I having? Now, I'm an MCPR user. It's, it's my my favorite sniper out of all of them, but this build here is, is atrocious. The bull velocity is not that good. The ADS speed's eh. Hey, never mind. Forget it. All right, so right now, we're seeing the enemies again, just literally shooting him and nothing's happening with this build just so you guys don't think i'm crazy with this build i want you to see how lined up this is with the shot i mean it could it couldn't have been more on him so you're so i'm gonna be bitching about it the whole game luckily i don't have my comms in this one and right now all i'm trying to do is break their plates they have to leave that building we need to push out as well we could go push them and fight it out but we know how they play. I don't feel like dealing with the shoddy. I'm tired of it, so I don't want to push them. And I'm sitting here complaining about the sniper and how bad it is. And my teammate marks another one with, I believe, even a worse build. Look at that ADS speed. It's like picking up a rocket launcher and shooting it. It's terrible. And right now, we're just trying to work ourselves to the buy station. That way, we can get back our teammate. We're not worried about the gunfire going on around here. I, I again want to throw it out there it exploded on him i don't know if you guys saw that i don't know if it's the build or my connection was dog shit but that, that's not a tracer either that's an explosion so didn't get a hit marker nothing just poof and you you could be like savage spawn protection this dude's been floating for like six minutes hell no all right again making our way to the buy station so whenever you go to a buy station you always have to assume there's going to be people there you don't want to take the easiest route you want to come in from the high ground you want to have some you know the element of surprise Notice how Ferk will ping the enemy, didn't start shooting at him until he got close to him. Now that he's close to him, he's gonna go ahead and engage and we're gonna be there to follow up. Cause I wanna make sure my eyes are still glaring up here. I wanna gaze these areas up here and make sure there's no enemies that direction. And again, that was simple. He was focused on my teammates. So I decided to hit a little bit left hand flank, hold a different angle and shoot him in the side and the rest is history. A little bit of boost jump to help just elevate you and get you further. My teammates got a knock, so I'm going to go ahead and push in right there. And see who else is here. I don't know if there's more than one. It definitely seemed like there was more than one up here. But I'm not too sure. Again, notice the live pings. That's something I really want to put emphasis on because teamwork is the most slept on thing in the world. I ping him. You can't see the ping on my screen because Activision, but you see that I ping him right here. That's my ping. And I ping it again to let him know the direction he's going. That's why I'm spamming the pings. If he thinks he's there, he might try to flank. He might look back. He might put himself in a bad spot. So what I want to do, and I don't always do it, but if he's that close to my teammate, I will, is I'll spam pings to let him know which way they're going, especially if the comms are active. And right now they're hella active. Again, my teammates started shooting. Notice I instantly stopped plating just to see what the hell was going on. 
And right now I'm mad as shit that I can't get through that window. High alert goes off. I instantly know that there's an enemy nearby. Again, high alert's crucial. And I knew the enemy was this direction, but I had no idea where. And again, a little bit benefit not being stacked together, but being relatively close is that Ferkel had made the live ping because he was higher up, different angle, saw the enemy, and I knew he was that direction. But again, it helped me figure it out perfectly. Importance of pings. I, this, I mean, teamwork, guys, look, it's, it's not the most exciting shit in the world, but I promise you, you will be better. You'll get more practice if you, you and your team can stay alive longer. If y'all keep dying off rip over and over and over again, you're not going to have much practice that match. But if you're actively playing as a squad, you have a good chance of surviving at least further into the match. And also on top of that, you're going to get more reps in with the gunfire, the gunfighting. And right now I'm a little bit caught in between. We do have a bounty we can go kill, but I just want to peek this area. Look at this guy mounted. I love that shit. I hit the bar somehow. Get the knock. Thankfully, my teammate strike over there so right now i want to push i need to push we have the knock close the gap savage which you always say yes but precision i'm waiting Bounty targets are down. so first one comes in i know by the time i make it because of the timing the second one's gonna be there it's not gonna hit me and i'm gonna be able to help my teammates so here we are pushing up now notice the tracers coming from the big two-story bitch and the enemies in here i noticed one cross and i downed one i know there's two enemies in this thing Get the knock. I spot the enemy out back now, but I didn't see him. He's under here. That's an observation issue on my part. Again, a second enemy pops up, beams the shit out of me. And again, lo look at the speed of decision making. And this isn't a flex. I hate spectating my own gameplay because I just always feel like I'm, it's an ego thing, but it's not. There's a lot of things happening in this situation. There's a lot of variables. You have enemy comms, you have teammates comms, you have so many things going on in your head, so many distractions, but you have to be aware. Now I did miss the observation of the guy who was down here on the little ramp. But what I didn't realize, I don't know where I got beamed from to be honest. Oh, he peeks up. He, it's the same guy. I think it's the same guy. He peeks up and beams me. The moment he does, there's no, there's no delay. Screen goes red, bitch. I'm turning, diving. That's it. Fast decision making. Instantly plating. I don't sit there and like <laughs> breathe and look around and like, yo, okay, where is he at? For, no, calm down, fight your fight and, and do what needs to be done. So I'm plating in this situation here. I push in. I know it's the enemy and I, you see me kind of do a little that's because I instinctively wanted to dive back out. But when I noticed the enemy turned his back to run away like I was about to, I decided to go with my move. And again, two teams here. So it was a different guy because there's still a guy in the, in the ravine. Also, paying attention to enemy comms is crucial. You can turn it on if you want. You can turn it off if you want. It does get annoying at times, but... That last fight, the enemy that I downed that was at the building next to us, he said, yo, guy below you. So I instantly knew, shit, there was a guy above me. Granted, he crawled down. He wasn't above, above me anymore. But listen to comms like, comms like that, let you know where enemies are because they call themselves out. It's amazing. Throwing the smoke. So gas is going to be coming in and I don't want to fight these guys around the gas. So we're going to smoke out of there, get a better vantage point, better angle. Buy goes off, instantly diverting attention to the buy. Enemy so this is where you have to kind of play it like a puzzle, right? So you're watching here, the enemy doesn't come through this area and you dive away. And then you just look up here. Where is the enemy going to come from? Let's put a better angle on the enemy. Wrap all the way around, get up here. And this is a great holding position for the guys that are below us. They could wrap through here and stay in this building. But again, we have a better option to get a better angle this way and kind of really figure out what the fuck's going on. And there he is. Get the hit on the enemy. Again, that sniper's dog shit. I should be aiming for the head, but I'm not because I hate the sniper. Yeah, I'm going this way. And again, you see how aggressive I am with the sniper. I always tell you guys, stop just sitting still in the weirdest spots waiting to get an easy shot. Get out there, get aggressive. I missed that shot right there and I'm gonna go for it again. 
You see me going for jump shots. You see me trying to get a little bit of angle on it. Still playing cover and concealment. I noticed the guy peek out the bush, switch back to my gun. Get the knock. Now this was a little crazy. Don't do this moment. So I got two knocks and a third guy on me. No idea where he is. Oh, he's up top. I had no idea where he was the first time. All right, so again, just quick reaction. And, the, and how do you get better reaction time? By doing, by doing. You guys can play passive all you want and be like, Savage playing aggressive gets killed. But I'm telling you right now, if you're not playing aggressive in the early days, let's say this. Let's say I suck. If you guys can relate to this, please listen to me. I suck. I've got a 0.7, a 1.0, 1.5, and I wanna get better. I wanna improve. Am I either A, gonna keep doing the same shit that I've been doing and hope to God something clicks? Most people will, but no. Uh, two, am I gonna sit there and be even more passive trying to win when I still can't shoot the broadside of a barn? No. Uh, and three, option three, which will be a ding, 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 is gonna be get more aggressive and fight more fights. That's how you speed up your reaction time, your decision making all of this stuff. All right, so like I told you, I wanted to go ahead and replay it. So I went for the easier knock. I noticed there were two guys there. The guy that was standing up was moving a lot. So I just transitioned back, went for the easier knock, just so I had a 1v1 or what I thought was a 1v1. I told you guys not to do this, uh, mostly because the guy I cracked or the guy that was standing up over here isn't the same skin as this one. So there is a full squad here and I put myself out in the open. I'm not hu hugging cover concealment. I'm going with my move, trying to get this kill and I have no idea what else is going on really should have stuck closer to the wall but mistake on my part and again this guy's situation here instead of turning around and trying to play his life he just runs and b hops to the right why turn around and play your life now i get high alert i know there's a guy over here i don't see him of course because it's that I means in real time and i try to ego challenge back and i thought he was an enemy so i go for a quick scope <laughs> but Funny enough, this dude shock charges us and me and my teammate both hit fire him to death. So the shock charge really got him killed, even though he's gonna die anyway. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh -huh. um, so we have a lot of people coming in right now. It's gonna be crazy. And again, just going for some easy shots that I'm missing because I'm a bot. High alert goes off. That's why I look back there. Savage, you got walls, bro. You got, you got the 3D map. Look. You saw that? It was quick, gotta be fast. I look back, so what's going on over there? I see nobody peeking, nobody's there, I'm good. My teammates start shooting in that direction and then pings it, so I'm gonna go ahead and close the gap. Why am I closing the gap right here? Well, we're in a bad spot. So I have one of two options, either focus on the fight my teammates in, or I can go kill this guy. If I focus on this fight, look at the position. If we go down here and we go with our move to focus on this fight, one, we have the risk of getting shot in the back. But you see all this cover? If we end up going down here and playing this, we're still dead because we're still out of bounds. Right here is a shit ton of concealment, shit ton of uh, cover. That's where I want to be. So I make the educated decision. Let's just take two teams out at the same time. I'm feeling confident even with this dog shit ass loadout. So I'm going to go ahead up there. And he's distracted on my teammate right now. Also, guys, don't use the MP5. Use that ISO new bitch because uh, you'll get outshot real fast. And again, plating while moving, maintaining momentum. Because why? Because I don't get shot in the back. So this right here, I'm going to be breaking down the simplest shit because I'm just tired of it. We get a knock right here. I don't go for the execute. I repeat, I do not go for the execute. Why? Because he's, I'm assuming there's more people. Thank God I did. So notice Code Kill broke off to the left-hand side, fought that fight. We didn't have comms that he was going to fight that anyway. Um, and on top of that, it was just a bad fight in general. So he ended up getting killed. And here we are again with all this cover and concealment in a real good spot. But we got to be on alert because there's eight teams left. And look at this zone. I know there's a team over here. I know there's probably a few teams in these buildings. I think there's three or four buildings over here. But there's probably a team with, within these uh, little stones with us. I don't remember if there is or not utilizing tracker now this is kind of crazy that i'm doing this savage that was your teammate Shh. Shh. and again these are the normal type of players that use the shotguns right here uh, 
Fade comes up, just kind of sit there and hold it. And again, kind of bouncing back and forth. No cover, no concealment. What are you doing? This dude is out here in the open. It, it, my teammate's even shooting the edge, thinking that's where he's going to be. That's how bad this move is here. So I'm getting flinched to f all. And I go down by the guy on the left-hand side. I was looking over here, didn't see anybody, but again, he's to my left. Ego, ego child for sure. That flinch sends you to the moon, but... I did it. Now look at the zone. Right now I'm calling out, we need to push. Let's throw some smokes. So that's exactly what we do. Okay, I just, I just missed. That wasn't the sniper's fault. So I don't have smokes. I do have a muni, so I just throw this out here. I probably should have threw it out a little sooner than this, but it is what it is. So while we're here, I want to play an important game. It's called, uh, what the hell are you doing? These guys are in this building. There's a team here. Whether There might be multiple teams here. Again, six teams left. Buy goes off, la -di da There should be people on this rooftop. If I was in this building, I'd be on this rooftop. Because the circle just did a hard shift from quarry, we all have to rotate out. These guys could have killed not only us, but the team we were fighting across to our left and also the guys that were under us or in front of us that I missed that easy sniper shot on because I'm a bot, but they didn't. Why didn't they? Because they're scared. Why are they scared? Because they don't have confidence. And how do you get that? By doing, by playing the damn game, by getting out there and just balling out. You're dead, dude. You're so dead. you dog shit. So right now I got, you know, Facebook gamers talking their shit. LOL. Tell us how bad everyone is. And look, this guy is on the roof. Weird. What? What is he doing? Not shooting at us under that. So this is the, this is a decision that I made, kind of logically, kind of stupidly. So my teammate's playing in the gas. He's making a lot of noise. My other teammate, Phoenician, is playing the railroad tracks, which, to be fair, is probably a smarter play. I decided to close the gap. Why? Well, I noticed that the circle is pushing almost the entire compound out. They do have a little wall they could sit here and hide and I don't want to wait for the next zone. So what I'm going to do is try my best to catch some coming out the building and hold them. I know there's multiple teams in this building. There's no way in hell six teams are just spread out right now. Everyone's clustered. No one's in the open over here. There might be a team over here. We don't know yet, but I mean, come on, man. There's got to be four teams in this building. So that's why I come here. Again, playing it slow. Missing all my shots. I hear footsteps. I bounce the opposite direction. I don't want to talk about it. Utilizing my gas to reload instead of panicking. Still waiting to see people transitioning. I see the explosion. So I'm thinking someone else is in the building. It's not walls. It's common sense. Again, I go for the XE when he goes down. Like I, I was going for the kill, but he went down. The moment I realized he's down, I stopped shooting. I know it seems stupid to keep emphasizing on, but damn, we spectate every damn day. And then we go for it and that's it. So I made a lot of mistakes in this video. I was using weapons that I didn't like. I was missing a lot of easy shots, but when it came down to the teamwork, the comms, the callouts, and the strategy, it was for the most part pretty together. There were a couple of don't do this moments, but again, it just comes with the confidence you have in yourself. Please guys, stop crouch walking, stop slow walking, stop not sprinting because it's loud. Start getting out there, get active, and increase your reaction time, your speed, your momentum, your accuracy, your strategy, the entire puzzle. But guys, thank y'all for watching, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.